When the Breville designers set about making this espresso machine, they didn't take their cues from the domestic market. What they did was they went out and they took the best from the commercial world and thought about how can we take these features and put them in this domestic product to go on somebody's bench in their kitchen. The way a regular espresso machine would control temperature is they'd use a thermoblock. A thermoblock is simply a heated block of aluminium with a tortured path carved into the centre of it. The water enters here and exits here into the ground coffee. The thermoblock system is designed around water flow. If water flows too quickly, the water will be cold. If the water flows too slowly, then the water will be too hot. This translates into the flavours in the cup. One of the problems using a thermoblock system is you have to wait a long time for the thermoblock to heat up to make steam and a long time for it to cool down or purge a lot of water through it to make espresso again. The way we cover that off is we've got two independent boilers so we can control espresso temperature and steam pressure independently. No heat up time, no cool down time, available instantly. This allows us to deliver it at exactly the temperature that the user has programmed it to, plus or minus a degree. Pre-infusion is where we deliver water at lower pressures and slowly ramp up to maximum pressure of nine bar. This means that the ground coffee is more evenly soaked prior to full pressure. If you do use a machine with a 15 bar pump and you do have that overpressure at the initial stages of extraction, that will promote channeling in the cake. What's channeling? That's where water that's delivered to the ground coffee finds the least path of resistance either down the side of the cake, adjacent to the wall of the coffee basket, or sometimes through the centre of the coffee cake. This will produce really bitter and over-extracted flavours in the cup. This means that the ground coffee is more evenly soaked prior to full pressure, so you get the best flavour in the cup. So what else has the machine got? The machine has a preheated group head. What this does is this aids in the thermal stability, one of the key components for producing great espresso. Also, it has a fully cast stainless steel filter basket. We provide an integrated tamper, steam on demand. We also have pre-programmed and the ability to use a program, one cup, two cup, and a manual override button. All these are programmable through the integrated LCD. The integrated LCD can give you a lot of information. Two of the key things that it does give you, the temperature that you've selected to extract your espresso, and it also gives you a shot clock. What's the shot clock? The time that it's taken for the espresso to be extracted. This is one of the key indicators to whether you've done a consistent or a good job of the pour. So let's make a coffee. What we're using here is we're using Breville's BCG 800 Smart Grinder. Use the integrated tamp to tamp down squarely and firmly. Insert the Porter filter into the group head and extract. What we're expecting to see here after about 10 seconds is a nice honey flow of coffee, dark, rich, and you can see that we've achieved that there. So we have nice straight pours, not striping, very nice looking espresso. We're just going to texture some milk. So you can see it's easy for us to texture milk and extract espresso both at the same time. With the dedicated steam boiler, we can generally texture milk around about twice as fast as you would from a thermoblock system. When it reaches 60 to 65 degrees, turn off the steam valve, wipe the steam wand, purge, and then we're ready to pour our coffees. Commercial precision in a domestic footprint.